Oh, I definitely don't feel safe. Not being accountable for anything. Where's that money going? Holy, I would not have guessed that. Hello everyone, my name is Jack, and we're here on a sunny Monday afternoon on Bloor and Bathurst, and we're going to be talking to some Trentonians about the upcoming municipal election. Let's go. Um, is there a number one issue that stands out to you in Toronto, like in terms of any difficulties or things that the city can improve on? Yo, now you need a list. That's a long one. Okay. Gosh, okay. Yeah, like housing, cost of living is pretty expensive. I remember renting like my room for 600 last year. And now, like not in the same area, but you know, like up north now it's like 800 at least. So yeah, like it jumped up like very high since last year. Yeah. It's traffic, it's long construction on the roads. It's... Uh, Raising prices. Rising housing prices? Housing prices, rising uh, food prices even. Right. Uh, inflation, uh, like general cost of living. Absolutely. Okay. It's, it's, it's getting almost like impossible. Even a single room here, small room in Toronto, right. it's, a hundred, uh, it's actually a thousand dollars okay. for a single room. That's getting too much. Right. TTC really sucks. I don't know how we won whatever year for TTC, that, that's a really big problem. Right, like we were s s supposedly the best huh? transit yeah. in North yeah. America. I think that's not very true, <laughs> no offense to Toronto. I'd say uh, cost of living. Like there's a lot of homelessness in Toronto and I feel like that's indirectly or directly caused by cost of living. I, I do get upset when I see the tents in uh, Queen's Park, for example, and I call 311 about it, and I say, this is a family place yeah. with children and, uh, you know, summer camps for young children, students, and why should somebody not only be in the park in a tent, but throwing their beer bottles around and who knows what else? Syringes. Syringes, yes, and just general garbage. And I don't think that... Uh, the rights of one person supposedly to do that should trump the rights of the vast majority of people who pay taxes. Uh, come up with some, I guess, um, some antidotes to what the problems are with homelessness and, you know, racial and un injustice and, and things that really appeal to individuals that are of color because the city is growing to be more diverse and you have to appeal more to um, I guess the demographic, you know, as opposed to just trying to make the roads better or, uh, you know, make a new building for somebody to make a lot of money from. Yeah. Uh, do you feel safe in Toronto? Oh, I definitely don't feel safe walking okay. home at night. I don't even leave my house at night, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, so like whenever I leave my house, so like I can walk to the station, it only takes like five minutes, right. but I wait for the bus because I don't want to walk because right. there will be like a lot of people walking around my campus at night. Okay, that's, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. On the TTC, I don't really feel safe at like any time, to be honest, because right. anything can happen. I do feel relatively safe. Relatively. But I am also very street wise and I'm looking and I'm very aware of what's around me. I know that crime is just rising right now, all of it. I do think it's fairly safe, but I do see homelessness and like the gentrification that is happening. Like you see it on Sherburn Street. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, but like, like there are those, like those uh, centers, right? Yeah. Uh, how much money do you think the city is spending on homelessness support and social housing? Probably like 10 grand, I don't know. Okay. I would say probably a million. Like literally, I know that sounds really bad, but I don't think they put that much into it. Yeah, like like not a lot at all. Um, maybe a couple hundred million, I don't know. I would say many millions each year. I would say they're probably, because they are conservative, probably about five, about five. Million? Yep, about five million. Okay. We are actually spending 1.25 billion. Oh my gosh! Yeah, unbelievable. Holy! I would not have guessed that they could be making affordable housing with that money. Whoa! Where's that money going? I don't see any usefulness in it. Do you feel as you know that money is being spent effectively? Well, clearly not. Like I think that's an easy one to say because whatever it is now, it's not working. Well, it is a lot of money, but I don't think they're doing the right things with the money. 
I mean, if I look around, I already see three or four homeless people already. So is it is one point three billion going to one person, or is it going to a fund to advertise that we are helping these people, but we're not really helping them? So, like, right. and, and do you think there should be more accountability in terms of like we're trying to find out where where that money is is is, is going to? Of course, there should always be transparency. Like in my opinion, transparency is something every government should strive for. I just think it shows such a lack of not being accountable for anything. Do you think the city should say, we're spending this money, therefore we want to reduce homelessness by X percentage next year, and we're only going to be supporting entities that are able to sort of chase that goal versus just giving out food and just giving out shelters without an explicit goal in mind. The money is there, but then you're saying that it's going into it, but I don't see any results. Or I should say, I don't see a lot of results to it. Um, there is no um, proof of where this money goes or where they say there's no accountability, like you said, or responsibility to look at it, to question, has this been enough? Obviously not right now. So. Yeah, I do think that they should like be clear on what their specific goal is and have like specific things in mind of what they want. Do you have any final words uh, for uh, for prospective voters? Listen to your hearts. Don't listen to uh, empty promises. Be good and let's change it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much and uh, have a. Good rest of your afternoon. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.